already know what it is. It's your boy Lou Melson. Back at it again. It's Two for Three YM podcast. We're chilling out here. You already know what, who I got here. My man Z Wave. How you feeling, bro? Hey man, I know what time it is, man. I'm feeling great. Yeah. You know, um, thank you for having me once again. Always, always. Um, I have a question. What you sipping on? Uh, I was just sipping on some Malibu. You know, like I've been. I've been trying to take it easy. Actually, these days, like I sip two things. I mm-hmm. sip two things. I sip, uh, I sip bamboo, uh, bamboo, the one with the X on it. You know, you got yeah, me yeah, on yeah. that. You got me on that. You, got, you, know? you gotta specify though. There's different ones. There's white one, there's black two, one, right. the brown one. As a matter of fact, there's three now. Uh, there's the EXO. There's mm-hmm. the. I'm gonna go straight through the straight through the brand new one. They got the uh, they got the EXO, the all black EXO. I haven't really touched that one. Mm. Uh, they got uh, the one that you put me on. That's like the straight bamboo. That's uh, right. Brown rum. The brown. Oh the yeah. Brown. The brown boy got it. Got it right. You know what I mean? That's and, the nigga uh, right And now. then we got the uh, the one that's like it's like uh, I don't know how to say it though. It's like how do you the one with the uh, the cream on it? Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, it's like bamboo cream. That one is one you just trying to chill. Like, trying to chill I right. run through two of those in, in a day. <laughs> well, Holy like, shit! You know, but two? Uh, yeah, two of those, man. Cause it's it's the oh, cream know, and it's just smooth, right? Wild. Um, Wild. You know, uh, man, I can go. Yeah, for real though. Like bamboo is definitely what I'm. I fuck with, but like I was just sipping on some Malibu just now. Yeah. You know, got me. Now my, my 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 drink of choice, like obviously you know, it's the bam, it's the bamboo one we're talking about. Yes, sir. But yeah. like for my like, celebration, I like I like the Bel Air. I like the white bottle to. Be be precise. Is that right? Yeah. Man. But when I'm on a mission, I get the, the black one. When you see me with a black bottle, that's mean I'm onto something. When you yeah. see me with the white one, that's mean I already accomplished it. Now I'm just celebrating. I'm kicking it. Relaxing. You know what I'm Man. saying? Bamboo one is just like, you know, when so the you mood got, is you right. Got, you, got like a, you got like a category yeah. for like each, like each mood type thing. Yeah. There that's you dope. go. That's the thing that got me, you know, that, you know, I get, I get the, that set the mood. It depends. Like I said, the white one is just like, you know, when it's, everything is already said and done. You know what I mean? I right. pop that. When, the, when, 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 I, when I'm on to something, the black one is is my, is my I don't know why. But Bel-Air, man. I fuck yeah. with Bel-Air, man. I like to pop them things. Pop. Yeah, man. So, so what, you got, what you got going on, like, music-wise? Like, what, what's, what's, what's new in, in store? Man, um, I just dropped my, uh, you know, I just dropped my, uh, my project, uh, King's Throne. I need everybody to check out King's Throne. It's playing everywhere. Y'all know what time it is, man. Kingstone is what I'm, uh, I just dropped right now. Me and my homeboy, uh, what's his name, MC3, mm-hmm. uh, we working on our project. Actually, as a matter of fact, we dropped it today. As we speak, we dropped the project today. Uh, Telepathia, uh, Area 51. Tell them what platform. Uh, it's going to be on all the platforms, like Tidal and all that stuff. Like, you know. Is it the release date today? or it's The it's release already... date is, uh, so the release date is actually, uh, so I, I posted it to be released and like you know there's no actual set date mm-hmm. you know because the way we work we just like we got a lot of projects sometimes we're gonna drop some stuff and not give a date you know mm-hmm. what i mean mm-hmm. i'm just gonna drop you know so like the uh in two days time depending on like when this 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 video drops this podcast drops by the time mm-hmm. you, you y'all watch this the project is already out you know so so what in, what inspires your creativity like what what what, what gets you going mm-hmm. Um, you know, uh, like I gotta be, I gotta be on like the right, like, you know, I don't know, you know, it's a really good question for me. Like, I'm mm-hmm. very, like, I'm very, I'm very versatile with my music. Like, you know, I could be sad and I want to make a music, you know, mm-hmm. I want to make, make a song. I could be happy and I want to just drop like some crazy hype stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, I, I'm, I, I'm not limited. Like, I'm not limited. You know, um, never limited in any way, shape, or form. Um, even if I don't understand like the situation, yeah. I'll make a song and all of a sudden like just catch a vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So what have what what other challenges like have you faced come like coming up as a, like a new artist? You, me, me personally, I don't, this, I don't even a... consider as a new artist in the city. Maybe for the right. new. The new guys, but like I've seen, I've seen your growth. Like, I'm, but what what's the challenges? Like, what what other challenges have you? You know, um, some may call it challenges. I just call it uh trials. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but you know, like I, you know, this in, in this city, there's a lot of like play for keeps type of thing that happens, in, like where everybody's like kind of choosing sides, you know, mm-hmm. I like, I don't really be choosing sides, like, you know, if, if, like, if anybody wants to work, like, we can work, 
you know, um, I'm not really like, I'm just trying to get music done. I'm just trying to work, you know what I mean? So yeah. uh, I see that there's a lot of like, um, you know, a lot of stuff that happens in the city, like whether it's like somewhat the gatekeepers of some sort, like they try to like, you know, somewhat with uh, hold certain opportunities for artists like me, you know, yeah. um, you know, cause y'all know I'm really fire. Like I ain't even got, I just like, get there like you know i'll be dropping some stuff you know what i mean so but you know yeah. what you know what though i feel like you're giving them a lot of power when you call them uh gatekeepers because right, right. me me the way uh, the way i came up is like if you learn the game and then the next the next dudes are coming up mm. you're supposed to put them on games so that way they don't have to go through the whole process that you just went on. You put them on game so they're on the same level and they take it to the next height. So yeah. I just think those those guys are cowards. Mm, mm, they see mm. your potential, they see your art, they see your talent, they're scared to put you on. Right. You know what I'm saying? All right. You know what I mean? So they trying to they trying to kinda hold you back right. because right now they're on right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But you know. I don't let that I don't let that I know I, like I don't let that get to me though. Like, I see all the stuff that happened in the city. Like, okay. I see a lot of the stuff that happened in the city, for real, for real. I see how everybody be, you know? Like, they, there's a format that, that, that is not being used correctly. Like, exactly. the format that we're using in the city, like, I think even Edmonton, like, sorry, even Toronto has the same issue, like, you know? Mm -hmm. there's the, the same situation that's happening in Edmonton is happening in Toronto. You know what I'm saying? It's happening... I don't know about, you know, BC, but I know it's happening for sure out in the, you know, in the TO because of how, like, the, the functionality of with when the artists come up and there's, like, all these, you know, other, whether it's the, uh, the, the club holders or the promoters, like, they have this way of doing this thing where it's, like, they, they're not expanding the talent to where it, like, they're not, like, you know, uh, there's a word for that, but I can't really mm -hmm. say it right now, like, you no, know. No, I, mean? I feel but, you. You know, we need we we need more expansion like with with you know whether it's putting artists on or you know giving more exposure. Mm -hmm. It's or, more like just or, being... or acknowledging uh that like you know the the hard work that are, the others are putting you know you know what I mean mm -hmm. stuff like that yeah. No, nah, it's just like more like I feel like there's just like you know just more push you know what I mean like yeah. the DJs gotta be on board you know what I mean certain DJ gotta get uh play an artist from the city once in a while you know what i'm saying play the artist you from cannot the just city. go to the club and you hear niggas from different towns and then like while well, we have a thousand you know artists here and then those djs say again like i, I like i like i like i was trying to tell you those mm. those motherfuckers don't position to do that but they don't want to do that because they don't want you to get the shine you know what i'm saying i think that's what it is man like you know, you know what i'm saying know. but it, it, it yeah, i mean that's something that some people gotta just step up and, and just do it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. me right now, I cannot be like, yo, I can't put niggas, I can't, I can't let niggas to come to my, my podcast because they're better than me. No, I'm right. trying to show that, yo, Edmonton got talent. That you know right. what I mean? That right. You right. know what I mean? When I do those podcasts, I'm doing it for niggas to be like, yo, they're actually, we have talent. That's my contribution to this shit. That right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Fuck the money, nigga, get on here, put your shit out, talk about your shit, put, yeah. you know what I mean? I mean, like, absolutely. I couldn't be like, yo, there's a fee, there's this and that, I don't even do that shit. Nigga, come on, do, you know what I mean? You got a project going on, come and talk about your shit. Absolutely. You know what I mean? At least it gives you some type of exposure. You know what I mean? It, it maybe, maybe the person that's watching this can be like, you know what, let me go check out what the fuck this, this, this Z with. Of course. This, you know what I mean? It's better than just you going, your, people, nobody gonna be on the Instagram all the time checking your shit. Mm -hmm. And we don't, us being artists, we don't drop shit all the time either. Mm -mm. So this shit here, at least it gives you some type of boost. Even if it brings you one views, I'm happy than nothing. You know what I'm saying? Correct, correct. But a lot of niggas won't do that. Yeah, I know. Um, one way or the other, um, you know, as an artist, like I'm the type of artist is like I'm the type of artist. I don't I don't look at all the other stuff. Mm -hmm. I just be uh, I just be really just do my thing. You know, I I stay in my lane. Um, I I do I do what I gotta do to you know to get to get me where I need to be, you know, yeah. and I mean, I'm I'm gonna make sure that, um, once again, like, I thank you for bringing me here in this platform, like, you know, just to, like, really just, you know, even explain to other artists who are coming up that, like, mm -hmm. you don't have to wait for nobody, just keep doing your own thing, like, you know, whether it's 10 years, whether it's 7 years, yeah. 5 years, 3, 4, 1, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, like, you just keep doing your thing because, like, there's no, like, there's no, 
the West. So like, I'm gonna tell everybody this. Like, this is yeah. what a lot of people don't know. Yeah. The Western world puts a limit on your artistry. That's right. Like that's, that's one thing for sure. Two things for certain. That's like, a fact. I'm I'm not I, I'm I'm a uh, I'm a Canadian African. Oh. I'm I'm bo- I'm born in the Congo. Like the people who will support me, who are back home, like it's different love from like the Western. They don't put no limit to your artistry. They let you grow. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Like you see what's happening with the Afro beats, Fact. with the Burner Boys. Burner Boy will be potentially a Michael Jackson, like maybe like twenty Another, years from now. Yeah. You know he might be like a Michael Jackson, right? So like um. The, uh, Africa, like you know, the West don't let you know don't let the Western mentality make you feel like oh, bam, I'm like thirty two, or I'm thirty one, or mm-hmm. I'm twenty nine, I'm still making music, and you know we all know you know we all know what's happening in the industry, so you know you need to be independent, like work hard, like just work fucking hard, man. Can I can I swear in this platform? Yeah, 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 yeah. You do whatever fuck you want to do. Like work as hard as you can, do what you gotta do to uh to put yourself in that position to. You know, like just to you know to keep yourself afloat. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? How how do you stay authentic to your 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 artistic vision? Like how do you, you know? You know, I I, I stay true to myself. I like that question. Yeah. <laughs> I like that question so much. Like I stay true to myself. Yeah. So in what way do you hope your music or your art will influence? Your audience. You know, um, it's that's a that's a really good question. I'm like, I I think that it, that it everything takes like a, as a true artist, like yeah. as a you know a musician, so to say. Um, you wanna um, you know, you wanna uh, you know, r- relatable based arts, mm-hmm. relatable. You wanna be relatable. Yeah. Right. You wanna be um, a bit down to earth. Yeah. You know, you wanna. Not necessarily speak about matters that everybody can relate to, but if you've been through them, you can speak about them. Speak about them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yo, man, we getting, we getting at the end of this shit right here, but I was going to ask you, so what's your next phase on your artistic journey? Like, what's your, what, you got, what you got going on? What's your, what's your vision man. for the, like, <laughs> let's just say for the, for the next five years, like, what you, what you, you know what I mean? Man, I gotta, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil, I don't want to say too much, but, like, I definitely going to say that. We got a lot of uh, a lot of amazing art on the way. Mm-hmm. Like I've been, you know, I've been really just processing, doing a lot of brainstorming. Yeah. Um, while I'm working on my projects, um, as I'm also growing, mm-hmm. um, from the from the ones who know me, uh, I'm, I've been doing, you know, a lot of. I've been taking care of my kids too, so that's, that's been right. helping me. It's been helping me, uh, just like. You know, mature and stuff like that. You know what I mean? How father? Um, the fatherhood is amazing, man. Uh, shout out to my two daughters, man. I ain't gonna say the names, but they love me so much. I love them back. Shout out to my son. Uh-huh. That's my first. You know what I mean? I don't even know, man. I, I go <laughs> hell and back for him. Yeah. You know, um, just doing my thing. Really, uh, I'm focused on a lot of just beautiful. Just, just know that there's gonna be some epic visuals. Uh-huh. For 2025, 2026, and 2027, that is right. <laughs> Exciting, man. Can't wait. Um, any shout outs before we Yo, step man, out shout out to here? you, man. How about yeah. that? Shout out to you, bro. I appreciate bro. that, man. Shout out to you, shout too, Shout out to man. you on this platform. Uh, uh-huh. Shout out to the niggas who's holding down, the, you know, the real niggas. Shout out to the ones who, um, you know, just never giving up. Shout out yep. to the ones who, you know, keep holding it down no matter what. Shout out to the ones who making the difference to, uh, to the indifference. Does that That's make right. any sense? Yeah. Hey man, you, you know what I'm saying. Kick it, <laughs> shout out to uh, you know, shout out to uh, all the all the single parents out there, and shout out to the parents out there who are just doing their thing. Man. They're holding it down. You know what I mean? If you're a young parent, older parent, middle aged, look. Two, four, three, one, one.